Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna do an Isaac run. I'll admit, I don't know whether I'm supposed to do an Isaac run right now, uh, or whether I'm supposed to do a random run, or, you know, whatnot. And you might be saying, Northern Lion, why don't you just freaking check the blah blah blah? Well, I have a pretty good excuse considering my freaking hard drive crashed like two days ago. So, uh, I, those videos just start floating in the ether, you know? They go to video, or video heaven, where videos go when they die, or, you know, video Valhalla, or, Maybe they're just, you know, adrift in the endless consciousness of the video universe. In any case, I'm not trying to uh, make this a, a spiritual or religious thing. I'm just excited to be playing The Binding of Isaac again. And I should point out, I think everything is installed correctly. You know, you saw the title screen. I had Platinum God. I'm pretty sure the save is applied properly. But if for some reason I end up uh, only being able to go to the cathedral or something like that, well, that's, um, you know, Isaac being Isaac to some extent. I'm happy with an HP upgrade on the first floor. I can live with it at the very least. Let's move along here. And again, it's kind of weird. I don't have a, any knowledge of uh, of how recent episodes have gone. It had been like four days since I recorded an Isaac episode before episodes or before the the hard drive crashed to begin with. So, kind of just floating adrift here. All right, you know, if you're gonna get uh, something in your item room that you can reroll, SMB Super Fan is a pretty good choice. Now, there's an interesting anecdote that came out. Uh, a couple of days ago, well, a couple of days ago, as of the time of this recording, anyway. I gotta check out the cursor, even though it's gonna cost us that spirit heart I just stupidly earned. Um, yeah, that's kind of a waste. Maybe we can tell pills out, though, and not take damage. No, friends till the end. Alright, well, we learned something there. We learned that I'm an idiot. Uh, and we also learned that I'm gonna turn with the volume here ever so slightly, but, um... Someone on Ed's Tumblr asked, like, why is SMB Superfan, like, a speed downgrade? Is that intentional? And then, oh, that might be a little too loud, actually. Yeah, maybe it actually wasn't a good volume. My mistake. Just trying to make things good for everybody. Uh, that should be okay right there. But then, uh, Edmund said, yeah, it was accidental because Florian accidentally put a minus instead of a plus. So that's the... <laughs> I, I love the idea that there were maybe people that were, like, trying to figure out, like, what is it? What's the significance of, uh... Not to shit on those people, obviously, but what's the significance of, like, SMB Superfan being a speed downgrade, and then he's like, yeah, you know, he hit the wrong button on his keyboard. Anyway, um, I've taken some damage here. I wouldn't expect super high quality Isaac play here. We might get carried, but, um, you know, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit rusty here, dealing with computer problems for the past couple of days, but it's no excuse. That's just the excuse I'm using, because I took a little bit of dumb damage, but we'll see. Uh, I could still get lucky and get a deal with the devil here. I've already gotten two HP upgrades, so a deal with the devil would be you know, basically, we could just trade what we've gotten so far so for even some extra damage or tears or uh, ability to fly, etc, etc. I'd be uh, very pleased with this. Let's kill that uh, ding dong there. I think if we don't kill, or if we don't get hit by this boss, I'm pretty sure we have like a one in three chance of getting a, getting the deal. So I would like to. And one more hit should do it. There's a cube of meat. No deal with the devil. So be it. Just trying to think about how I want to handle this here. Really sad that I don't have a bomb, because a bomb would open up a lot of possibilities for me here, as you can probably see. Um, we may, uh, if, if I find some more fire, I'm not gonna shoot it, because we may actually be able to use that to gain uh, access to the boss trap room. Or if there's a curse room, that might be the best possible option. Like, for example, you know what, we can't even gain that much from this TNT barrel, so we might as well not keep it around. Uh, so there's a bomb, that simplifies things a little bit. Okay, so this is actually kind of good. Even though it might not seem like it. So we're gonna hurt ourselves today to see if we still feel. We're gonna focus on the pain, apparently that's like the only thing that's real or something. And we may be able to find the room secreto via our, uh, actions here. It may actually just cost us a bomb, which would be, you know, awful for me. You can do it! You can do it! Well, maybe the secret room's not there. Ooh, that's actually really good. Or maybe it was, but we didn't reach it, but that's fine too. Let's see what we got in here. It's the crate, which I actually like a great deal. Um, as I've gone on record as, for, as saying many times. We could have re-rolled it, but I chose not to. That means we have a re-roll saved up for the um, shop. In case we actually get the money necessary to go there. Uh, I'm trying not to pick up anything here, except maybe the key, and I would pick up the penny as well. Uh, because, you know, we're gonna Zelda it over our heads, so that's kind of a risky proposition at this point. We have enough damage that I don't really feel scared about this boss fight at all. And actually, picking up the crate is lovely for us. You know, just by virtue of getting that one bomb, now all of a sudden we have, uh, three bombs and four keys, which is a pretty okay position to find ourselves in from a consumable standpoint. 
And we've gotten decent items on this run so far as well. We are very low on HP, but keep in mind, you know, why we're very low on HP. That was a purposeful thing. Uh, so even though it is a little risky, we're still uh, in a pretty good place here. Now, we have one penny on the ground. We got a key back for that as well. We got the stars card, which I like a lot actually. So we might as well take umbilical cord. We might as well take the pill. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, now we might as well teleport into the uh, special or the uh, item room here. And we got the miter. Sorry, the relic. I told you I was rusty. Um, that's amazing. How could I say that this is anything but amazing though? This is incredible. So that is going to allow us to uh, get a lot of spirit hearts. Great item so far. This should be the secret room. It's not. I don't want to use all of our bombs, but it does seem pretty likely that we can get the uh, second secret room right here. Okay, we did. And, uh, okay, there's just a bunch of red hearts. I have to look for the secret room in that, like, last possible location. Like, the one adjacent to both the item room and the boss trap room. Maybe my bomb explosion from earlier just wouldn't have reached the wall. So this is our last bomb. Please work. Alright, I'm an idiot, but... Whatever, we still made good on this floor, right? We did very well for ourselves. Uh, and now I can't open that tinted rock. Let's just hope it wasn't the small rock. We don't want the speed downgrade anyway, that's what I'll tell myself. And you know what? I'm definitely gonna take the luck foot. Maybe that's a special item we should have waited till the end of the floor, but I'm not gonna get too salty about it. Things are going extremely well so far. We're on Catacombs Part 1, plenty of keys. Uh, enough keys to open this bad boy up. We traded a key for a bomb and whatever other consumables we get from inside of here. To be honest with you, that's a pretty good deal when we are out of bombs and have an okay amount of keys. Like, it's nothing to write home about, obviously, but it's it's okay. And uh, Eyeless Ooze guys are probably going to be the most difficult enemies that we encounter over the course of this room, but we should be able to... There we go. Take one out, and once you take one out, then it... It's just a matter of time before you get to shine, right? There's another one. We're doing enough damage to one sh uh, no, two shot them once we get, they get down to the ooze state. No, it's actually a three shot. How did I make that mistake? And I was wrong. Isla Sue's guys are not going to be the most difficult enemies that we're going to face over the course of this. That is an honor that is reserved for these uh, floating assholes. Which is also like a, if you've got one of those, go to the proctologist immediately because that's not going to get any better just on its own. You need a licensed medical professional to take a look at that. Okay, now, uh, yeah, that could have easily hurt, but I got lucky and was standing in one of the very few safe zones. I think that would have made it possible for me to avoid that damage. Not skill, absolute, just, uh, fortuitous luck there. So, we only, ah, that was really bad. We still only have two cents. My main idea for, you know, greatness on this floor is to not lose red hearts. Get it, get a deal with the devil and uh, make good things happen that way. So the shop's an interesting one. I could go in there, we have plenty of keys, you know, use a reroll if the items suck, and then when I get money, come back for it later. But that m risks wasting a key for what is essentially no reason because I may not have enough money to ever make the shop worthwhile. We still have to look for the secret room and, and stuff like that, so we're going to, but, you know, for now, I'm just gonna play things a little safer, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll save our keys. Four keys is a lot for this point of the game, but, you know, it's like a, a kid gets like, they're 16 years old, they get like a $10,000, you know, inheritance or, stuff, or something like that. It seems like a lot right now, but that can run out pretty darn quickly for various reasons. Alright, we have Duke of Flies 2.0 essentially here. I'll cop to the fact that I call him Duke of Flies. 2.0 because I've forgotten the real name. I used to say Carrion Queen and then people got mad at me. They said, how can you not know the names of the bosses? Spoilers, you know, for like 90% of the enemies in Isaac, I just made up my own name. Okay, don't lose fucking red hearts here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, I don't know the names very well. That being said, that's, that's nothing new. So, uh, HP would be nice, tears and damage would be nice. It would all be nice on ice, alright? Uh... Be cool, be cool, be cool. Stay far away. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. We won't pick up stem cells just yet. We will pick up brimstone. Sorry, Mom. Uh, and I'm not going to pick up rage. But I am going to pick up stem cells now. The speed upgrade is meaningless. Maybe we took brimstone recently. Have forgiveness. Recall that I don't remember because my hard drive crashed. That's going to be my excuse for everything today. Hey, uh, yeah, remember that time I was a big asshole? Well, my hard drive crashed, so I'm immune to all criticism for today. Well, you know. The other thing that I will say is that 
Uh, I don't feel bad about taking Brimstone. There's been a lot of runs recently where, or at least a couple of runs recently, where I was like, I'm gonna be the honorable guy and not take Brimstone. And then the game was like, you're not gonna take the good shit that I give you? Fine. Eat shit, motherfucker. And then I just like, you know, sucked for the rest of the run and got shitty items. So, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Now, we will go to the curse room. Um, we will try to go to the shop and we'll try to go to the secret room as well. Not in that order, obviously. Uh, you know what? We don't have to use a bond to get to the secret room. We should just be able to walk into the curse room and get it as a result. And there's enough HP to make us feel good about this in the future, so it's all good. And we get the Ankh. Okay, that's fine. So we're not going to be going to the shop. But, uh, you know, getting the Ankh for free is pretty good, especially in conjunction with the Relic. And now we will leave this floor better than we found it, but, you know, a lot better than we found it. Brimstone's an awesome item. And we're pretty stacked, considering it's only, you know, the Catacombs Part 2. That being said, could still go wrong. Gotta, you know, I know I get made fun of for saying it's not a one run a lot. This one really isn't a one run. Man, you, you fuckers ruined that for me. There's no way I can say that anymore without being like, is it really not a one run? Or am I just trying to, like, you know, lower expectations in case something goes terribly wrong? I'm totally gonna use uh, my spirit heart to check this out because I have a reroll ready already. Kind of a waste. So be it. Shit happens. One bomb for four cents seems like a pretty good trade when, you know, that's double the amount of money that I've gotten over the course of the entire floor so far. Sweet. Even more bombs back. Uh, yeah, but, like, there's still conceivably ways in which this run ends poorly for me. What are they? Uh, not getting any more HP would be awful, especially if I took, like, an ability to fly for two spirit or two red hearts or something like that. Um, apart from that, you know, not getting any more tears or, or damage would be... Not ideal as well. Could still be workable. We're doing all right, but you know, I would like to, I would like to improve our our offensive capabilities. I would like to get to the point where we're one shotting greed instead of like eight shotting greed. Maybe that's a little greedy in and of itself. How ironic is that, Alanis Morissette? Well, I was hoping maybe we'd get the steam sale, but at the very least, we got enough money to pretty much guarantee us a future shop will actually work out in our favor. Yeah pretty much uh, guaranteed now item room please I think this is your your ideal room right here all enemies basically you know roped like cattle into pretty much a straight line makes my life very easy uh, Loki's horns actually like the first time I actually feel good about a reroll we'll pick that up when we come back uh, mom's pad that is remember we took lucky foot all pills have to be good uh, you know, that's probably one of the worst good pills we could get right now, but at least it's not an HP downgrade, so I'm okay with that. What do I want here? I would love, like, this is a great pair with Brimstone. I would love to fight Pestilence, get a second level cube of meat. Nice. Tears up. For an extra familiar that I could, uh, you know, have to actually shoot flies that get close to me. I dodged right into that shot, and cube of meat out of the goodness of its heart is like, you don't want to do that, man. Like, I think you're, you're making a rash decision. And I appreciate that a great deal. See, like, our, our damage actually is not incredible. It's pretty good. I make a distinction. Our damage is bad, or at least not amazing. It's better than default, because we did have SMB Superfan. But um, our, our killing power is great. Not for bosses, but for, you know, smaller enemies. Our ability to clear out a room is enormous, you know? It's like uh, Bruce Valanche's farts or something like that, which really should be a Cards Against Humanity card. Now that I think about it, um, Bruce Valanche's farts would be pretty close to an instant win, in my opinion. For me, because I watched a lot of, you know, Hollywood Squares as a kid, because I was an only child and was very lonely. Um, well, we got meat there. That's a great pickup. But yeah, um, our, our damage is probably a little bit more solid now, but uh, it uh, was not uh, incredible earlier. Let's look for the secret room. There's a lot of possible places for it. Yeah, we're going to be... Going through bombs pretty quickly here, I'd assume, but we've got to be pretty close to the end of this floor. And again, I can't really complain. Uh, I may complain a little bit. I'm gonna open this. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with it, more or less. Um, I may complain a little bit if we don't get anything good out of what is currently Mom's pad. Shouldn't have split these guys up yet. Uh, but if we do get something half decent out of Mom's pad, then I am uh, very happy with this floor. Meat in and of itself, pretty good. And our secret room uh, contains Book of Belial. It's a weird one. 
But I'm gonna not reroll that. Even though it would make our pool get lower so we get a chance for like raw liver later or something like that. We've already gotten the Auk. Uh, I, I didn't want to risk like a fetus item or you know something along those lines. Dad's key, the unicorn horn. I actually like my chances a little bit better up here. And we got the magnet which is actually really bad but um, we don't have the ability to fly so at least it's not functionally worthless. Plus it makes our character look kind of cool right now. That's just my professional opinion about it. Now, we're getting into the, the money spot here. Really would like to get... Yeah, I was gonna say map and compass, so we, we've got a good start here, I would say. I'm gonna need to buy that key, because I did get a little aggressive with my golden chest opening. And yeah, this is actually like a perfect turn of events right here. Uh, the secret room, which we won't go to quite yet. Could find greed in there, so we be, best be a little bit careful with our HP. Really, you're gonna give me chocolate milk? After all that, that hurts, game. That, that really does. Uh, but at least we have a good reroll opportunity there. So if nothing else, reroll pedestal for like three cents from, or not three cents, like three plays from uh, Demon Judgment feels pretty good. That was dumb of me, not of the game. That's another uh, tiers upgrade, which is nice. And uh, I, I could buy that other key straight away, but I want to see if maybe we just get like 12 keys randomly on the ground on this floor, in which case I'd feel pretty darn silly about buying a key for five cents, you know, myself. That would be a, a pretty hilarious decision, all things considered. These hearts have too fucking much HP, as far as I'm concerned. Um, well, we'll just get that for free. Let's go back and reroll uh, Choco Milk, shall we? May still want to buy that key, but this run is shaping up to be, dare I say it, a one run. We will we'll see though. We got some work cut out for us. Uh, rage. So rage is an interesting one, isn't it? Is it? I don't know. You tell me. This could be our second secret room. So I'm definitely gonna try to get the eternal heart, or not the eternal heart, but maybe the eternal heart, but uh, the spirit heart. And it also turned out to be small rock. Lovely. I'm not gonna open that golden chest unless we get a lot of keys on this floor. But um, so rage is gonna lower our base damage a little bit, but make subsequent shots do more damage. I think it's all right to take. Also makes deals with the devil better by taking that item out of there. I would rather not pay for rage if I can get it for free, right? So uh, a lot of people may disagree with that. I know that's uh, antithetical to the Biznap school of thought. My apologies. Um, my apologies for an using antithetical in a video where I'm playing a video game for the amusement of strangers on the internet. That's just my way of, you know, using my Thesaurus, thesaurus warrior skills uh, to fight back against people who think I'm an idiot because I didn't take item X or something like that. Really, just makes me look kind of like an asshole, so I apologize for that too. We have no rerolls to go here, but um, we do have kind of an interesting situation right here. I'm assuming Demon Judgment's, you know, plays don't count as uh, Red Heart damage. I hope that's the case. Uh, otherwise, we're shooting ourselves in the foot for a deal with the devil chances here. Let's see what we got for pills. Hey, that's amazing. Very quickly learning uh, what kind of pills we have in our rotation here, and we've got some fucking great ones. That is awesome. Spirit of the Night for free and Rage for free feels pretty good. Uh, so, main thing here, you know, don't get yourself killed, as uh, Andre would say in uh, Dark Souls. But sincerely, as long as we don't die against war, we'll get this cube of meat, which is what we wanted. I would not be surprised to snag a deal with the devil either. Um, and that would mean that already on this floor, without going to the item room, we'll have gotten... Oh, we're slow. We should, we should hang out right here. Uh, we'll have already gotten cube of meat, spirit of the night, Rage and the map for 15 cents essentially And there's our deal with the devil as predicted you Left my broken heart open and you ripped it out as Sugar Ray might say doesn't really have relevance here Those aren't worth it Unfortunately, uh, we had to use our reroll there. You know the drill Let's see if we can find our item room by going to these uh, terminals over here. This is uh, looking strangely not item roomish Item roomish is the uh, language that J.R.R. Tolkien invented for use in the Silmarillion, of course. That went well. Oh, come on. That just... That grinds my gears a little bit. We found our second secret room, though. Ah, okay, so basically full health there. That feels pretty good. We don't have anything to reroll, but we might as well leave these terminal rooms open so we can come back when we do find the item room. Now I've got fucking every morning stuck in my head. Uh, we took Maggie's Faith as our trinket. It'll only be useful for one floor, but... You know, it beats on Belgo Cord, which is not going to be useful ever, I, I guess. Um, 
I'm not gonna use this key to open this golden chest yet unless it happens by accident, which is, you know, imaginable. Well, now we will, because we got an extra key. And we got another key out of it, okay. And, you know, fuck it, we're gonna go through with this. We'll still be able to generate one reroll out of this. Whoa, I don't know what the heck that was. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. I'm gonna stay back here. Who else do we have? I, I never understood why hoppers are in the third section. Like, the, the necropolis and, uh, and depths tier of the mob trap room. It really seems like if you took the hoppers into the second section, and uh, then, like, just swapped them with those floating turrets, it would make the necropolis and depths mob trap room a lot more difficult, and make the, um the Caves and Catacombs one proportionally easier. It's such a minor nitpick that I hate myself for even saying it, but it does seem to me like uh, just kind of weird. Like it it's, puts them on the wrong tier list in my opinion. Oh, well, there you go. There's a reroll for us and we do have um, Luckfoot, so you know, the pills is pretty good. Hopefully our item room just ends up being useful for us. If it was a speed upgrade, I would have taken it straight up. I would not have rerolled it, but you know, it's not a speed upgrade. We need a speed upgrade. Quickly, as quickly as possible, because even though we can fly, it's very difficult for us to get out of the way of, you know, incoming explosive bombs, or, you know, like, the kind we may encounter here. Incoming red shots, like, from these guys. Luckily, having the ability to fly means we're not fucked if we don't get a speed upgrade, but it would be nicer for us. We'll go back for that, of course. Um, it would be nicer for us to be able to make this work a little easier. See, even a situation like that was dangerously close to me taking damage, so we gotta kind of make our path in a different way here. Alright, Rainbow Baby. I'll talk about it. We can't reroll it right away anyway. Um, one, two, three. Three rooms left. I'm not gonna reroll Rainbow Baby. I would rather have two possible rerolls for the, uh, the bottle of pills. That's my philosophy on it anyway. You may disagree, and that's, uh, that's A-OK -okay too. We are gonna explore all these rooms, so we might as well get it done quickly. And maybe we can even find another demon judgment on this floor or something. And so far, you know, we've gotten pretty darn lucky to, uh, there we go. Pretty darn lucky to find all floors and all pedestals on all floors actually working out for us. Uh, I don't think we've left a single item behind, which is pretty rare. I really should have rerolled uh, the pills before I came through with this, but this is what I was thinking anyway, is that one of these rooms might be a curse room. Uh, or a self-sacrifice room, whatever you want to call it. I guess it is a self-sacrifice room, canonically. Um, so we wouldn't have gotten another reroll anyway. And I ended up vindicated, but I still should have done my due diligence here. The only reason I didn't do my due diligence when it comes to backtracking is because I'm slow as fucking Malaffy Taffy right now. So, we are going to... Reroll this. And there we go. We ate shit. That's gonna be our... First item that we're gonna have to leave behind, um, what was it that I rerolled in the first place? It was a range upgrade. Well, you know, so all three items were worthless. We, we tried. Got two keys, five bombs, enough money to buy something from the next shop, assuming we don't fight Super Greed. Really want that to be the compass, but I'm not gonna be picky about anything that augments our uh, D6 as well. You know the drill by now. This floor gave us, you know, let's technically say second level cube of meat. I don't really want to open that. Um, yeah, gave us second level cube of meat, rainbow baby, spirit of the night, rage. That's it. That's pretty good. Oh, and the map. I forgot about the map. That's a really good haul. Uh, especially for this late in the game. Poison bombs, huh? We'll talk about that. Oh, we also got Maggie's Faith, which I totally forgot about. Interesting situation we find ourselves in here. Okay, that's more than enough money to do whatever needs to be done. And we've got at least, you know, five or six reroll opportunities that I can see, especially since we started right next to our item room, which is awesome. But do we really want to reroll Bob's Curse is the question. Five bombs is not great, but not necessarily anything to sneeze at when we only have seven bombs to begin with. And uh, the ability to have all of our bombs be poisoned could be beneficial as well. But here we are, and I'm going to go back and reroll it. Just because I really doubt we'll be using bombs all that often over the course of this run anyway, given that we have Brimstone. But we also have, you know, Rage, and our damage is not amazing. This is... X-Ray Vision is better. Um, I think a lot of people don't like X-Ray Vision as much as I do. 
but I like it a lot. So you know what's awesome about this? So we used Maggie's Faith and managed to complete an HP. That's a pretty good haul for a trinket relative to what most trinkets would give you. Maybe not necessarily relative to what Maggie's Faith could give you if you get it earlier, but anyway, I digress. What's great about this is now if we come across an arcade, which, you know, is pretty likely given the amount of money that we have, uh, we can totally play the Blood Bank as much as we want, pretty much, especially since we have a Spirit Arts backing us up too. So our luck has been pretty incredible here. Let's see what we get in here. Teleported to a deal with the Devil Room where I will absolutely take the Pact. No question about that, and... I can't. I, I thought about it, I just can't. We're not gonna become Guppy, we don't have a lot of keys. As cool as it might be to get Guppy's tail, because it could give us some golden chests that would end up, uh, you know, giving us some decent items. I don't think it's ever gonna pay for itself with more than two uh, red hearts over the course of the next few rooms, but I'm happy to have the Pact. It's a little bit of a speed upgrade and uh, a little bit of a tears upgrade, plus we got two spirit hearts, which is all right, adequate at the very least, and we're gonna be fighting Greed, which is not the end of the world, as long as he drops the steam sail, which he did. Which we re-rolled into the ladder, which is obviously garbage, but, um, you know, we've, we've been doing a very good job of just using our re-rolls, what I would consider appropriately. So that was not a good use of a key. But we're gonna get uh, what we need here anyway. Which is uh, one-third of a re-roll charge. So I'm thinking about how to handle this Two of Hearts card. It's, it's kind of a... Yeah, that was bad damage. It's kind of a moot point right now. But it, that might change. Uh, we could use it on the blood bank, or we could save it for later. And we don't know if there's a blood bank on this floor, but, you know, it's pretty likely. I'm just thinking, you know, is it worth more to give us two and a half red hearts to try to win another HP plus speed, which can't be sneezed at in a situation like this, uh, where we're very slow, or is it better to save it and get two and a half hearts that maybe would give us uh, a much better chance on a blue baby fight or something like that? When you phrase it like that, I, it makes the answer pretty apparent, I guess. So we should get... This actually might be our last reroll, but we don't want the ladder anyway, so no matter what it is, it's going to be better than that. Or equivalent. And Mom's Purse is lovely. Uh, that is going to give us the chance to snag some more HP, or if we find a good arcade that has a fortune teller in it, maybe we could even get a better trinket, you know, pinky eye, cancer, something along those lines. We actually have a library as our special room instead of an arcade, which is unfortunate. But... Let's let bygones be bygones. We're gonna have a reroll ready after this mom fight, and uh, we'll be good to go. Interesting. Very interesting run. A run that should work out uh, in our favor, I would have to guess. Let's do this. All right. Blue mom. Not the kind of mom that you want to fight. But, uh, you know, we've got a pretty solid build for dealing with all the, the bullshit riffraff that she's gonna send out there. Are bullshit and riffraff the same thing? They, they are, right? Like, riffraff is just like a an elderly way of saying bullshit. Or like a less abrasive way of saying bullshit. Like, could you say that's all riffraff? I guess no, riffraff is like, it, it can also be used as like a noun, right? To, to describe a, a certain type of person that you don't necessarily, uh, you know, respect or agree with. You can be like, ah, there's a bunch of riffraff over there. I don't know. I kind of thought it was bullshit though. I'm gonna take the HP. I, I didn't do very well in that fight, but that's okay. Polaroid Maggie's Faith, down to the next floor, and we have a secret room right off the bat, which is pretty lucky, and we can actually use that to maybe check out if this is a special room. Oh, there's a second secret room here. Let's see if maybe this one's an eternal heart. It is a red chest, and I was hoping that would teleport us so we would set like the world record for traveling furthest in the least amount of time. Because seriously, we had gone through like five rooms without actually fighting any enemies. To get teleported to a deal with the devil would just be hilarious. So full health beats two of hearts, no question about it. I was hoping this would be, uh, you know, boss room central. It's not. It's okay. We'll check up as well, but I really imagine that it's gotta be left side. Not left bottom, just left overall. We're already here though, so we might as well, you know, finish the job. Plus, you know, more spirit hearts by way of the relic. The longer that, you know, time goes on with us gaining health as opposed to losing it, the less I really envision, that guy did like a change of direction mid-flight, which is bullshit by the way, but anyway. Um, the less I envision any chance of us uh, losing this run. And I, I'm gonna lose the spirit heart to come in here, but I think it's worth checking out. It's not. That's my mistake. You can see our HP, it's dwindling a little bit, that's alright though. It's okay. I'm gonna imagine that it has to be on the left side here. 
Because just, just it's further away than the other side. So it seems to, you know, logically make sense to me. This is our chain reaction. Getting plenty of bombs now. I forgot that I could fly, so I was like, holy shit, that was a lucky shot. I didn't think I could hit them without running into the rocks. Well, you know, Blue Baby's soul is, is pretty bad in my opinion. Let's just not do the thing that we do sometimes where we take the one that's not the Polaroid. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? Oh, it took my eternal heart. I'm an idiot, but I should have expected that. Judas Tongue might be worth taking for now. Uh, just to see if we get a deal with the devil on this floor. And, uh, my best friend is terrible. It's god-awful. So we will reroll that. And we will take Poison Touch just because we probably won't have many other reroll chances unless we work really hard for them. Maggie's Faith, I think, better in the long term, but we'll take Judas Tongue just to see if we snag a deal with the devil on this floor. That's my thinking. Um... I don't even know who I want to fight. I don't really care for the most part. I'd rather it's not conquest. That's uh, that's what I will say. Now, someone on the Binding of Isaac subreddit did make a very excellent post uh, about it being possible to dodge, not dodge, but like make yourself immune to conquest's uh, seemingly RNG beams of light because they're not technically RMG, RNG, I should say. Um, there's actually a little bit of a, a spot where they never attack as a result of like the way the game handles doors or something like that. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use that strategy if we end up fighting conquests, but we're not, so that's even better. So I'm just trying to spend as much time as possible, uh, like in this kind of line here where I can hit both of them at the same time. I took some damage in the process, and I'm gonna take more probably. I got lucky to be able to dodge out of the way of that. I think we could snag a deal with the devil here. We didn't. We get squeezy though. I think squeezy's worth it. And do we take Judas Tongue or Maggie's Faith? I would be stupid to not take Maggie's Faith. I would I would be a goddamned idiot. Judas Tongue could end up coming in handy, but the odds of us coming across the deal with the devil are nearly nil. They're they're very very low. All this uh, switching though, you know, has me a little bit scared that I'm going to make some kind of terrible mistake, and we'll end up rolling with the wrong trinket. But as of right now, we're absolutely totally fine. And we, uh, we're about to fight Mom's Heart, then it'll be the Cathedral. This full health pill is great backup. <clears throat> if we could just get to a half heart interval, then we could use it uh, extremely effectively. Curse of the Lost is pretty nasty, but there is a secret room over here, so that is where my attention is going to fall. Again, um, the actual like largest negative with this run right now is our speed. It's actually like pretty problematic. Uh, it, we're able to kind of ignore it a little bit, just because, you know, my killing power is so high with the... Uh, what is this? Tears up, sure. Um, with, uh, you know, Brimstone and, and the damage that we've got. But if it was lower, if our damage was lower or our killing power was lower, we definitely are taking Mr. Mega. Um, then we'd be in a very, very difficult situation right now as a result of our low speed. You know, we've had Small Rock and SMB Superfan. And this uh, apparently is one of the very few runs in Isaac in general where you get no speed upgrades. We haven't even come across a single Blood Bank yet, which is crazy. Uh, boss room? I didn't think so, but, you know, had to check. Now, we'll uh, sneak by a few rooms over here, but I imagine the boss is kind of on, like, the right side over there. Um, in that weird little, you know, leg type thing. I don't even know how I would describe it if I were not calling it a weird little leg type thing. And, hey, we actually did find our boss room over here. I did not expect that. But I'm happy about it. And we can probably save bombs because we have brimstone. But we might just want to use them because we have Mr. Mega, right? Yeah, there's no way I'm dodging these turrets, unfortunately. Um, we'll probably end up using, like, five bombs here just because the Mr. Mega damage is so high. So, we'd probably be stupid not to use bombs because the uh, the damage that they do will likely save me from taking damage of my own. And drop that in there. That was a bad one. Ah, the crowd control still works, so that's fine. This is our fourth bomb, and uh, that's going to put Mom in the per permanent bomb state, which means... Ah, bad damage again. Which means I should be able to, uh, just finish off with Brimstone and save the rest of the bombs for, uh, for later. Bit of a weird one, though. Um, you know, I am a little bit lower on health than I expected I would be. That second secret room is immediately below me. And, okay, we got some flies. They should do a lot of damage, but apart from that, kind of meaningless. And the flies did knock down a couple of these Isla Suze guys, but... I think I made a terrible mistake with my dodging. Spirit hearts. No. Oh, well, okay. Sort of. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one, I think. I think, again, we should win. Don't get me wrong. 
but I think there's a, an increasing chance that I won't. Just by kind of taking a little bit too much damage and my speed not being good enough to get the F out of the way when, when that's important, unfortunately. Now, our damage is good enough to kill Angel Fetuses in one hit, which is a huge vote of confidence for the Isaac fight. We now have four keys as well, which is lovely. It means that the chest is going to be uh, totally a viability. I don't really care about that penny. And we totally picked the right direction for the boss room right off the bat, which is something that doesn't happen all that often. So I feel pretty good about that. All right, more spirit hearts too. All right, how do we do this? This is a very good question. I think we've almost got to like rush him down with Mr. Megas. To the point where um, he spawns angel fetuses so we can use rage to build our actual damage, you know? I'm just trying to stay away here. Because um, right now, like, our brimstone damage is not that fantastic. We also have, um, you know, the touch. We got the power. So, should be able to uh, poison him every time I get hit. If, I get, if I'm close when I get hit, at least. With the slow from Rainbow Baby, shouldn't be so difficult to, to dodge the shots. If we can just keep Maggie's faith alive, that, that can be like a little bit of a goal for me. Not that I necessarily think that keeping Maggie's faith alive is the, the ticket to success. Like, in the end, it's just one HP, so I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. But that's just my my goal for this. That was bad dodging, but I got very lucky. So our rage is getting built a little bit here. That's good. You know, it doesn't cap out that high. But better to have it than not have it. And that's why Blue Baby may actually end up being a little easier for us. Okay, we're probably not going to keep this Maggie's Faith part alive. We actually could. We could. We, we, we did. We did. Okay. And another Spirit Art at the end. Lucky me. All right. Interesting. Should be interesting. What do we got? Bomb Bag. Mom's Bra. Holy Water. Well, the Tarot Card is the Chariot, which is alright, and we'll reroll everything else. Mom's Bra could be useful, actually, but we need to sacrifice it, unfortunately, to reroll everything else. So we will. Uh, I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how this works, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know how Quad Shot works on this room. So, I'm taking the Chariot. The reason... I'm gonna fight this guy, just because he's gonna drop an item, and he'll be one of the easiest rooms we could possibly face. The reason I took the Chariot card instead of full health is because I want to use the Chariot card and we can always come back and get full health later. Um, this even, like, Gertie is like the easiest room we could possibly come across right now, so... I am definitely not going to use the Chariot card here. A lot of our, um, a lot of our success here is going to be dependent on smart play, as you might expect. As it often is. But in particular on this run, you know, it's just don't get so cocky that you end up costing yourself a good chance at uh, redemption, you know. So, our reroll is almost ready. This is a shitty room. We gotta kill Lust. Thank God. I don't really give a shit who we killed last here. It should probably be uh, Wrath. Just in case we get another bomb item. Or just more bombs, but... It's not that big of a deal. Bob's Curse or, uh, you know, homing bombs would be nice too, but you get what you give. And we're not giving all that much right now. Nope, just more bombs. That's fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we don't want to reroll Steam Sale. We want to come back here and reroll everything else, basically. We've already fought this room. Uh, well, there's no enemies in it. That explains that. So yeah, I might be fucking up by not taking Quad Shot. I'm pretty sure I'm not fucking up by not taking Lemon Mishap, though. Very confident of that fact. So let's reroll all of these and um, just be better safe than sorry. So all of these are kind of shitty too. Um, the attack fly is okay. That's the only one I'd consider taking right now. But if I can reroll it, I will. Otherwise, you know, if the boss room is just up the the corner here, I will instead. Uh, I should have used the chariot card on that room. What was I thinking? But anyway, oh, the boss room's right here. So. In fact, we're going to use the Cherry card right here to kill Lust with it. So I'm actually glad that I didn't use the Cherry card on that last room unexpectedly enough. But it probably would have been the right course of action 99 times out of 100. But I got lucky this time. And um, we're going to get a Tarot card at the end of this. I don't know what Tarot card would interest me more than full health, but maybe it's a temporary use one. Like two of clubs or something. Two of spades, sure. Doubles our keys. So we'll go get Attack Fly and we'll go get our full health pill and then we'll go win the game which I think should work. And it ended up 
not quite being the cakewalk that I originally anticipated, but um, you know what is, you know what's kind of the unsung hero of this run? Uh, sincerely, oh, we're at a half heart interval too, which is so good. Uh, kind of the unsung hero of this run is, despite not having the compass, just getting extremely lucky with the actual um, guesses that I made for as to where the boss room is. Very, very lucky there, and we could still lose this, but I effectively have, you know, 14 health, or actually more, like 16, 15 and a half health, which is actually better than 16. Anyway, you get the drill. You get the idea. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kick in some Mr. Megas here, and the reason we're kicking them in is because we can, and we don't want to get too close and do that, like, circling thing that I was doing before. Taking a little bit of dumb damage, but we are also building a very nice supply of rage, as you might expect. Now, that's a, a lot of shots there already, and I'm starting to get a little nervous. Might be saying, oh, get that attack fly in there, let the attack fly do something. No, you know, don't be silly. The attack fly is a luxury, not a necessity. So next time we get hit, permanent Polaroid invincibility, well, not very temporary pol Polaroid invincibility, actually. We come in, we poison, we use the full health pill in a, you know, not optimal, but risk-free scenario. And we're gonna win that full health pill um, of much more importance than you might have otherwise anticipated. But hey, we won! Wasn't the, the most sophisticated run, but it worked. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please show your support. Click the like button. And as always, subscribe if you want to see more Isaac in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.